Okay, so we have one more. If I cover up, this would be with the information you would get. Um, basically, this equation in this equation, and they tell us to revolve about the y-axis. So I went ahead and put my formula down. This is your f of y squared minus g of y squared because we're given two equations. Um, after you have a minute to um, graph this, you can unpause it and check your sketch. Okay, so it should be something like that. We're reminding ourselves that we're revolving about the y-axis, which means perpendicular to the y-axis would be a representative rectangle, which mine's not a very good rectangle, but a dy. dy, that means all of our variables when we plug it in have to be in terms of y, which this one's already solved for x equals, but what do we need to do with this one? Good, solve for x equals. So we can do some of this um, work up front, which this one's not a hard so x equals, and you can see I did that down here, um, so that when we set this up, we'll be ready to go. Now, what's the other thing we're going to need to know? Our intervals, right? But we got to make sure we're on, in the mindset of the y value. So we want to know um, we need intersection points for here um, and here, but we want to know at what y values do those occur at. So Basically, if I was to arrow over here, and here we want to know. So um, you can either do that algebraically. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and do it algebraically. So I'll take this, take a few minutes and set up our intersection point. So we could just say um, y squared is equal to negative y plus 2. Go ahead and solve that and factor it out to find our intervals. Right, yeah, so this one's not too bad. So you get negative 2 and 1, so that's um, going to be our interval. So y equals negative 2 and y equals 1 here. Okay, so our interval is from negative 2 to 1 because we're remembering that we're in terms of y. Everything needs to be representative of the y. And then let's look back over here. It needs to be the rightmost minus the leftmost. So this purple one is the rightmost of our shaded region or our representative rectangle. The right side is touching the purple so we're going to have this one as our first function and the blue one will be our second function which is here. So we can see when we plug that in we'll have negative y plus 2 squared and then we have y, y squared squared and dy. Okay, next thing I want you to do is um, algebraically pull this out and simplify this expression here before we start calculating. Okay, so that doesn't simplify any further, so we're going to just take the antiderivative right there, evaluate it from negative 2 to 1. So the next step is just plugging in all the values and actually calculating. Okay, and so you can see where you make your substitutions there and then calculate that. You should finish with approximately 45.24 units cubed. Okay, this one we're just going to set up. We're not going to calculate all the way out, but I want you to see if you're given two equations, um, two graphs here, and then they tell you to revolve about x equals 2. Well, in this case, it wasn't the x-axis or it wasn't the y-axis. It was a um, an equation, x equals 2. So take a few minutes. You want to sketch these in your um, calculator. And so if I revolve about the x equals 2, perpendicular to that would be what? A dy, a dy rectangle, right? We always want to do for disk and washer method, whatever our axis of revolution is, we want to do perpendicular to that as our representative rectangle. So perpendicular to our green axis of revolution over here would be a dy region. DY regions mean we want all of our functions in terms of Y, so we solve everything for X equals. Solve for X equals, solve for X equals. I um, plug these in the calculator or did an XY table to set up the graphs of these things. Okay, 
and then we want to have our outer radius minus our inner so we want to have our right minus the left so it's going to be the purple one okay actually we're going to take just a minute to let you finish getting this sketched out and then we'll set this up we're revolving around this now so try to visually um, see that if we revolved around this axis right here how that would change things a little bit okay so I have this written out first of all you can find your intersection points and the y values of them are going to be 2 and 3 okay so that's going to be our intervals here 2 to 3 next we're revolving about this x-axis so um, let me just do the best I can so from here to here is two units right and I'm revolving around this guy the outer radius would be the blue so let's say from here to here so that's why I would say 2 minus that blue one would be the outer radius and then if I was to draw to find the inside radius would be to that purple line so then it would be the value 2 minus the purple line here okay now when we set up our functions it's going to be that outer radius minus the inner radius dy so hopefully I know that's a little bit confusing and it's something different to get used to but um, that's how we account for if we revolve around something other than the x-axis or the y-axis okay that's a little bit different so we want to just look at another one to see if it helps us to see um, one about the y equals 3 so we're given two equations and we're going to be revolve around y equals 3 okay um, I already showed you the sketch of this so pause it for a few minutes and make your own sketch okay we have our axis of revolution is y equals 3 so we want to make a perpendicular representative rectangle so what's that going to give us a DX rectangle right so we want to solve everything for y equals this is already solved for y equals we want to solve this for y equals okay and we're reminding ourselves that we're revolving around this so the other thing is we need intersection points in respect to X values so you can either algebraically do that or use your calculator to find your intersection points and then go ahead and attempt to determine your outer radius inner radius and see if you can set up your integral okay you can see off to the side just found an intersection x equals negative 2 x equals 1 plugged in our intervals there now this outer radius we're going to keep in mind we're coming from here so from here to the outside would be the purple so it's going to be 3 minus um, x minus 1 and then for the other one it's going to be 3 the inner radius would be the blue region so that's 1 minus x squared so then if you plug them in the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared dx this would be your uh, integral to solve for volume